tell us who you are and what you're doing here today. My name is Andy Travis and I'm here for round three of the KOC running in the GT class. So, um, how long have you been racing? Where did it all start for you? Uh, started about 1999. Uh, my dad got me a kit and my brother, but I enjoyed it, unfortunately he didn't. And then I just decided playing about in the gardens all well and good. Racing for me and then find a local club and just went from there. Carry on from there, cool. Um, so, tell us a bit about what cars you want and uh, what chassis have you chosen? Okay, so I'm running in the GT class, so it's it's more of a control class with Tamiya's control get fun, so controlled electrics, controlled tyres and whatnot. I'm running the TC01, which is the shaft drive. It has the Formula E shell that comes with the kit, so it's something a little bit different compared to the TT02s. Yeah. Um, I wanted to see how it would work against everything else and it seems to be going really well at the moment. Yeah, that's no, looking good. So yeah. Definitely. So, um, King Club's in its first season now, but so first a few words, why do you think it's been as successful as it has? I think a lot of it has been sort of the, the media sort of attention with it, social media posting uh, has gathered a lot of attention and sort of, uh, definitely all in a positive light. And then for me to come here with this championship, it feels very relaxed. So it's, the, the roles are controlled, at the same time it's, it's a relaxed, fine atmosphere, yeah, yeah. which is what we need at racing this absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so how's your season gone for you so far? So it's gone well so far. I mean, I took TQ and both wins at older shot. Nice, yeah. uh, Ada didn't quite go to plan in qualifying because it was just a complete washout. Yeah, right, so I qualified yeah. second, but uh, in the finals, I managed to get the car sorted and stuck it at the front end when it was needed. Cool, yeah. So um, uh, what do you think of this track, West London? I love this circuit, yeah. I really do. It's this, I mean, although this is an hour and three quarters away from me, this is my home circuit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I do enjoy it quite a lot. It, it's a very technical circuit that the bumps, well, not so much the bumps, but the curves will catch you out yeah, if you yeah. take too many liberties. So it's yeah. it's rewarding when you get it right, but there's such an easy margin to get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. So would you say this is your favourite track of the five? I would say, yeah, Absolutely, and it's yeah. the one I probably know apart from older shot. Everything oh, okay. else is going to be completely new to me. Cool, yeah. So, um, uh, racing hero and why? Sorry. Racing hero. So who's your racing hero? Um, it's gonna be a, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a toss up between the two. It's gonna be David Spasher yeah. and Masami Hirosaka. The yeah. fact that those two have won so many championships between them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To watch someone like Spasher drive, how he can make a like an LMP car last eight minutes <laughs> on the old days of brush motors was something quite frankly to behold. Yeah, yeah. Watch, yeah. Watching those two racing on the videos on like YouTube and stuff, you just see it's a master class of driving. Cool. An yeah. envy to be anywhere uh, yeah. within them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so finally, so who's your main rival? Um, I think there's a couple actually. I think there's Stuart Rand today. Yeah. He's currently TQ both rounds, so he's he's my main rival today. But I think it's him, Tim Harrop, and Bernie Book, which I haven't seen today. I've not here today, no. So, yeah. so I think it's 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 definitely not an easy championship. Yeah. Just walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those three yeah. are going to be my biggest rivals. Yeah. But it's whoever wins it is going to be close. It would, I think it'd be a good final today. Yeah. It's going to be ridiculously close, but it's going to be if I win it, it's sure as hell going to be weather. Yeah, 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 definitely. Brilliant. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice one. Cool. I'm Stuart. I'm here racing. Right. <laughs> 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 you don't get any sense for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> how long have you been racing? Where did it all start? Yeah. I've been racing 32 years. It started at Fabian Off Road Car Club. Um, racing buggies and entering cars back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Tell us a little about what class you've run and what chassis you've chosen. I, I run the TTO2, this is the chassis here, it's the SR model, it's got a few option parts on it but it's pretty much standard, um, quite like it, enjoyable, simple, easy, let's go racing. Yeah. So, King Club's in its first se third season now, tell us a few words, why do you think it's been as successful as it is? Probably because of the organisers and the fact that all the clubs uh, got together. I think it's a great way to get everyone racing. You know, club joining together makes it worth it. Uh, racing hero and why? Racing hero and why? <laughs> Probably a guy called Richmond Rogers. A um, guy that uh, I spent a long time trying to beat on the racetrack racing buggies. Um, we raced touring cars um, early 2000 and it was the first time I really beat him in a race, um, so probably him as a, a racing hero. Uh, so how's the season got Well, so we're round three now, aren't we? We're round three, round one wasn't as good as I expected, I was fast enough, yeah. uh, but circumstances didn't allow it. 
round two. Um, it's your mum's birthday. Oh, yeah, I didn't turn up. So <laughs> here I am at round three, and I'm taking round uh, taking uh, TQ in both one and two qualifiers so far. So all good. Um, so what do you think of this track, Westlake? Love this track. Brilliant track. It, it's probably my third favourite track out of all the race tracks there is. So that's my next question. What's your favourite track? Uh, Eastbourne. Hundred percent. So, <laughs> so final question: Who's your main rider? Andy Travis and Tim Harrop. Brilliant. Thank you very much. No worries. Bye. Sorry. Tell us who you are and what you're doing here today. So I'm Ben Morey, I'm running 17 and a half, uh, running the automatic skull. So how long have you been racing? Where did it all start? Uh, I think I've been racing 14 years now, I think, and started at Eastbourne. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you've told us, but tell us a little bit about the past you've got, what the So I've chosen the automatics 800 this year, so I'm signed with 6k to run it this year. Maybe next year as well. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, King Close is on its third season now. So, tell us a few words. Why do you think it's been as successful as it is? Uh, it's, wow. All the tracks are really good, and they're also all near where I live, so it's not too bad. Whereas the national is a bit further up the country. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, who's your racing hero? Why? Uh, the younger, when I was younger, it was Tim Hancock. Okay, so yeah, he was yeah. the one who like yeah, yeah. mentored me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Obviously, he doesn't race anymore. So. Yeah. Fair enough. That's good. Um, so, how has the season gone? Uh, I did round one at Aldershot. shot. It was alright. Qualified sick, got some bad qualifying. First final, had an accident, so it was like the last. And then, I think the second final, finished third, something like that. So, alright. Then yeah. Aiden rained, so I didn't rain. Um, so, what do you think of West London track? I really like West London. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good track, yeah. Uh, Favourite track? Eastbourne. Eastbourne, obviously, yeah. Uh, so, lastly, who's your main rival in the 75 uh, Probably oh, Billy and Glenn. Cool. Brilliant. Because that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Alright. So, tell us who you are and what you're doing here today. I am Charlie Colby and I'm racing 35. And I'm Jack Collins and I'm racing 35. So how long have you been racing and where did it all start for you? Three or four years at Eastbourne. Yep. How did you get into it? My father. <laughs> what about you, Jack? Um, I started uh, <laughs> just under three years ago and I, well, it all started at Eastbourne, like got talking coming down by a friend and then sort of took it on seriously from there. Cool. Alright, so Charlie, tell us a little bit about the class you've run and what chassis you've chosen. Um, class I run is the fastest one here today. And, uh, What's that? 35. 35. Okay. And I run a Mugen. Mugen? Yeah. What about you, Jack? Um, same as Charlie. Uh, Total Pro and Mugen as well. Same chassis, yeah. So, same chassis, yeah. so um, Key Clubs is, is, is on its third season now. So, a few words. Tell us why you've been, it's been as uh, successful as it's been. Because you do start right from the beginning, so you went to start as right there. Yeah, first um, season one, didn't you? Because of the way it's run, probably. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, I think, like, because you've got a good, good selection of tracks within, like, a, quite a close yeah. venue, like, where you live, sort of, yeah. so it's quite local, which is quite nice. And it brings, like, now it's sort of brought all the juniors in as well. Yeah, it's good to get more kids involved. Yeah, so. yeah, of course, yeah. So, how's your season gone for you so far, Charlie? Uh, it went alright. Stripped the third gear round one. Or oh, in the final? In the final, yeah, yeah. the first one. Yeah. So, what about you, Jack? Um, yeah, round one was pretty good, like, finally on the pace. Um, round two at Ada, really good practice, but then it decided yeah, right. to rain. Yeah, and then right. now, sort of, you know, really fast in the first yeah. round, but struggling a bit now, but sure. making the jump. Right, so tell us uh, who you are and what you're doing here today. So, it's Mate Billy Fletcher, and we are doing 17.5 touring car class. 
and you've reached the tank sponsor tank. Yes. So we've just tanked over from uh, Back Cave Cassie, Sean, and uh, we're now running Schumacher Cassie. Uh, she's in the family. So Danny can go up on races yeah. and she's running Schumacher Cassie, so it just makes right sense. A little bit easier for spares, and I can also relay more information back. Helps out. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, just quite a track record. Yeah. Um, Frustrating the missed out 20 laps. Uh, we would have had it in round one, but we caught back marker in the last corner of the last lap, oh. which cost us two and a half seconds and uh, would have been the 20 lap that we've been looking for, yeah. Oh. Yeah, which is a shame, really. Cool. So, uh, Key Cubs is in its third season now. So, yeah. Uh, tell us a few words why you think it's been as successful as it has. Mainly the more relaxed atmosphere. Um, you know, we've got the rules to do the keeps it on a fair level playing field, but also the kids. You know, my five-year-old's got a place to race. He, it's so difficult to bring young kids into the racing scene because, you know, we're all adults. And sometimes you see the kids don't get the respect on track that yeah. the adults get yeah. sometimes. And, you know, you all started somewhere. And it's great that King of Clubs has given kids a chance to really race and get involved in hobbies. Yeah, yeah. which is great to see. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's double from last year, isn't yeah. it? The junior age, so yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Great yeah. No, it's fantastic. It's really, really good to see, and it's really, really yeah, it's brilliant for the hobby. Yeah. Uh, so, tell us a little bit. How long have you been racing? Where did it start? So, I started when I was 13. Uh, funny enough, a man laughing just to the left of the camera is someone who I raced with when I was 13 years old oh, okay. when I met him. Um, local club. So, I bought a car off eBay, and the guy I bought the car off when I picked it up said to me, "Oh, if you're looking to race it, he went to the club." 15 minutes away and um, went on the Friday night, that Friday night, and I didn't miss a race until I was 19 or 20. Every Friday, every other Friday. Uh, we moved a bit more across the country when I got my driving license, but I didn't really venture out until I went off road racing. Yeah. I started doing nationals, yeah. and then about five years ago now, I moved to touring cars from off road. Just, Price is spiraling out of control with our pro and tired six and a half years. Tires like you know, like unlimited tire allocations at our pro nationals and you needed a runner set of runs of being the A final, even yeah. the Charles B finals. It just got too much so we made the switch over to touring cars and that was say six to say six years ago as I've been corrected. And uh, we haven't looked back since. Yeah, yeah, still, still do it. Still dabbling in a bit of off road. Little bit, mate. Yeah. I've got a Schumacher LD2, which is now in ditch due to the font change. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I will get that back there for the win to my flight. Probably I'm going to crack it in. Yeah, yeah. Again. Nice. Um, so, um, how's your season gone for you? So, like, team five season, how's it gone for you so far? First round was uh, uh, perfect at all the shot. Yeah. Uh, two food and one meeting, which I didn't expect to do against uh, the likes of Ben Cain, Ben Westwood, and Bear Lines. Their home track, local heroes. Yeah, yeah, local, yeah. You know, they are ultimately fast drivers everywhere they go. Yeah. Uh, all the shot, they're on a different level. Um, Ada was a bit of a different ball game because of the weather. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, yeah. yeah we had the rain. I just lacked a bit of pace over Glenn. Uh, I got lucky with Glenn dropping out of both finals, but then I had electronic problems in uh, leg one, yeah. which ended up knocking us out of contention to win the meeting. So, um, Hopefully today continues as it's gone, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. we can take another CQ and win, and it'd be good, to be honest, to prove that the Schumacher chassis works in every class, you know, it's been great at Nationals in Modified, uh, James Hart's been doing fantastic with it in 13.5, and it looks like it's working really well with 17.5 as well. Um, so what do you think of West London track? Love it, always loved it, um, it's like, I think I had my first ever proper outdoor national was here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they recently jet washed it and it now feels like yeah, the back. Yeah, uh, yeah. so like back to what we did sort of four or five years ago with grip levels. And, yeah, yeah the track has come, up, come yeah. alive, yeah. yeah. And it's yeah, fantastic track. It warrants a lot of commitment. Um, just, yeah, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed the track. Yeah, it's a great track. Um, what's your favourite track? Eastbourne. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know it's the class of my home track, Eastbourne, but I've had some great results there, great memories. I have a lot of good friends from the Eastbourne Club. Um, so yeah, Eastbourne usually comes in on my favourite track. Yeah. Uh, so finally, so who is your racing hero? Uh, my racing hero? <laughs> uh, 
probably be David's fashion. Yeah. Um, in regards to on-road terms, there's a lot of guys in off-road that I remember looking at, like, in regards to the use of the uh, magazines and yeah. Craggy and all that. But probably smash it. I can remember early days of seeing him in magazines and like the welds, doubled up the welds. Um, yeah, smash it. You know, and he's one of the only guys that you can talk to as well and he can tell you the truth. Yeah. You know, he's very, very, probably pretty comfortable quite bad in terms of saying this, but a lot of lying in regards to what he tells you yeah. doing and I mean, understandable, you find your limited picks that make, give you the advantage, you don't want to give it away. Yeah. But smash it one of them drivers that turn around and say, well, there's what I'm doing, if you can beat me, good on you. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I've rubbed off for me in that, in that route.